Welcome guys, I'm Gyo here, hope you're having a great day and in this video I'll talk about some angular components. Let's take a look at our example first, we have a simple button here and text displayed. From code perspective we have two components, our main component, as you see it has some button and then we have our custom component, it is called text uppercase, we are just passing in the text here and uh, whatever text we will pass it will display the uppercase version of that and in our app component we have title and this title is passed here in the text property and also we have a click button handler change text and in this click we will update our title so then it should update the text that is in uppercase now let's look at our uppercase component, it is very simple, we have text uh, here, it is input, so we can pass in the values from outside, then we have uppercase text, and uppercase text is just our text but in uppercase, and we are making this transformation when uh, on it it happens, and in the template we just display our uppercase text. If you look at this, it seems to be working fine. Let's refresh the page and uh, it is fine, right? What's the problem? Well, uh, there is a problem and let me show you one. If I click this button here, change text, this will update the title that we have in our app component and then this updated title should be passed here. Well, because we have the binding. Now let's click the change text button and see what happens. Well, as you see it's not working. Definitely there's something wrong here. So let's explore what's the issue. We have our input, this is text, and then we have internally this property uppercase text. And we are uh, you know, transforming this, making some transformation of our input and we are getting something else and then we assign this to our uh, internal property which then gets displayed into the template and this is a common pattern especially when you have a complex components and potentially many inputs so you take them you make some transformations you make some changes and in the end you will uh, receive some end result or results that can be assigned to other properties so why it is not working then when we change our title? Well, because if you look at this, uh, when the component gets loaded, this text is uh, whatever we passed initially here. It is code example. And as you see, it is displayed perfectly fine because on uh, component load, when component gets loaded, we take this input, whatever this is here, and we are just taking it, uh, making it uppercase and assigning it to our uppercase text, which then gets displayed in our template. But when we click this button outside and change text, this title gets updated. But if you look at this, there is nothing here in our uppercase component that reacts to the change of our input, in this case, to the change of our text. Now, this is a big issue. And uh, a lot of beginners make this mistake when they assume that inputs never change. And uh, this is really, really bad. Because when you're working in the larger teams, it is always assumed that whenever we have some property for components, it should be reactive. You know, whenever something changes to the inputs of the uh, component, the component should react to its changes and reflect these changes in template or you know, do some internal work that is necessary. And clearly that's not the case here. So that's what the issue we have right now. When the component gets loaded after that user interacts with the page, this property gets updated. Well, clearly we have the binding here, but the component doesn't react to its change. So that's what we're going to solve now. Now, there are a couple of ways we can solve this problem, but um, you know, let's take, let's start from the simplest one. Let's look at our page first and see if that works. 
yes it is working fine let's refresh the page again um, it is displayed code example here now let's click change text and as you see this text gets updated why is that well because here we have a setter for our input property and this method here this body that we have uh, gets triggered whenever this input changes and it definitely changes when we assign new value to our title because we have binding with title and text so on every text change here we are reacting to it and then we are updating our uppercase text and it is working fine there is another way that we can react to input changes and we will use lifecycle hook for that let's check this in browser to see that it's working and yes this is working as well we when we refresh the page we have code example in uppercase click the change text button and this gets updated so let's look at our code now so we have text as we had uh, in our first example it's just regular input but we added lifecycle hook on changes and this uh, hook will get triggered whenever some change will happen inside the inputs for our component and in this case we are taking the text because well this is the input that we want to check and if it is there in the changes then we are taking the current value of uh, our of our uh, input in this case the latest value that is come in in the input and then we are just doing our transformation so we are assigning uppercase text the uppercase version of the text again here this is already reactive this component reacts to changes now both of these uh, handlers are really good and uh, they can be used but as component gets complex and maybe we have many inputs and uh, we have some complex logics that uh, you know do transformations now we might want to use some observables and uh, that's what I'm going to show you now Now there are lots of changes. Let's check this in browser and see that it's still working. Refresh the page. It is called example in uppercase. Let's click the next and as you see it is working fine. We are reacting to the changes. Now let's look at the code and go through each line and uh, you know understand this technique that I have used here. So whenever I have some complex component and let's say many inputs I would like to have uh, every input represented as an observable and uh, the best way to do this from my experience is to use behavior subject and uh, we are creating the and the convention that I'm following is that I'm creating this uh, new variable for our input by just adding the dollar sign at the end of the name so if I have text I would name it text with dollar sign so I can indicate that this is observable and initially I'm just initializing it with the value of the input whatever we have here and then in um, lifecycle hook where we catch the changes I am keeping this uh, text input in sync with uh, our uh, behavior subject so whenever text changes I'm taking this value and pushing this into text. Uh, this is very good because inside the component now I can react to its changes and also I am using it as observable. So it means I can chain this 
with other observables or create entirely new observables and then use them in the template. And this is what I'm doing in this example. I have changed uppercase text and made it observable and it is going to emit the string values. And now I have generated this observable from our text. How? By using the pipe function here and then map operator. So whatever comes inside the text, I will transform this and make it uppercase. And that way I will generate this uppercase text observable. And then I have the uppercase version of that. Now if we look inside the template, here I am using famous async pipe and it is working just fine. Uh, me personally, I like this approach a lot, uh, especially when I have a complex component with many inputs, with complex interactions. It's just way easier for me to chain these observables together and generate new observables and generate user interactions that way. Just remember to make your components reactive. You can use the setter here, or you can use a lifecycle hook on changes to react to changes, or you can use uh, observables like I did in this case. But the point is that we should always make our components reactive. That's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends.